fundamental analysis will always seem like a very complicated task for you if you do not have your trade selection criteria or process dialed in. This is very important for you to understand because just knowing what the number is or what the figure came out as is not enough if you cannot properly put it into use with a proven trade selection model, right? And when I say trade selection model, I'm talking about taking high quality trades rather than taking low quality trades and you're just looking to trade for the sake of trading, right? So it's part of what I'm gonna explain in this video and I've touched on it before in some of the past videos that I've, that I've shared, but it is worth going over again that it all starts with central banks. If you do not know what the central banks are doing, what the central banks are saying, then you do not have a fine-tuned trade selection process or criteria because how will you know if unemployment rate is high or low? Yes, you might say I'll compare it to the previous figure, but then what did the central bank say about, about that unemployment figure or, or, or how about how unemployment has been trending? The same goes for inflation or CPI. It is very important that you know what the central banks are saying so that you can use that as a reference point moving forward, right? So this week we have Swiss franc or the Swiss National Bank's interest rate decision, right? So we're going to quickly look at that. So I'm going to take you to this document uh, that I have here for, for central banks. So firstly, the Swiss National Bank actually lowered interest rates for the second time in June by 0.25%. And this is what they had to say in their statement, right? They are willing to be active in the Forex market if necessary. Obviously, they if you continue to read the statement, they also go to say that that the Swiss franc weakened in the first half of 2024 or in the beginning of 2024 up until May 2024, we saw massive weakness of the Swiss franc. But of late, the Swiss franc has strengthened significantly. So if they're saying that they are willing to intervene in the Forex markets and now they are mentioning that the Swiss franc has strengthened, that means that possible intervention is actually to sell the Swiss franc so they can weaken the Swiss franc if they can no longer tolerate the strength of the Swiss franc, right? So that is essentially what they're saying there. Then they will continue to monitor inflation closely. Then based on their forecast, this is the Swiss National Bank's forecast, they forecast CPI to average 1.3% in 2024 with interest rates at a current level of 1.25%. So that means that if interest rates were to remain at 1.25%, they would expect inflation to average 1.3% in 2024. That is one of their projections, right? And then they obviously forecast GDP at around 1% for 2024 and unemployment to rise slightly, right? Then now, once you have that, that is the starting point, what the central bank is saying, then you move over to how the data has then developed. This is all part of your trade selection process, right? Because now you have something that you can use as reference to see if whether the data that we keep on getting is good or bad. It's not enough that the data is just positive or that the data is just negative. How is the data in reference to what the central bank said? That is the most important thing, right? So if we just look at how the data has developed so far, core CPI is steady at 1.1% and headline CPI is at 1.1% with rates still at 1.25%. Remember what they said. They expect in, uh, CPI to average 1.3% in 2024 with interest rates at 1.25%. But we can see that inflation actually fell to 1.1% even when interest rates still remained at 1.25%, right? So there are many ways of looking at this. You might say inflation is falling uh, quickly because of some reason. You might say maybe the 1.25% interest rates still have some level of restrictiveness that is applying downward pressure on CPI. In either way that you look at it uh, or whatever way you want to look at it, it, the fact remains that it is below what the central bank had projected. So it means that inflation is falling at a faster pace, right? So with that being said, this will push the Swiss National Bank to cut interest rates on September 26th, which is obviously their meeting this week. And there is currently a 45% probability of a 50 basis point or a 0.5% cut. Obviously, we do expect a 0.25%. That is what uh, the consensus is. And the reason why 
there's also a 45% probability of a 50 basis point cut, it is because inflation has been surprising to the downside. Like I said, the ex the for if the central bank is projecting that they expect inflation to be at 1.3%, obviously there's a reason why. They are not just guess guessing or just a guesstimate. I'm sure there's probably models that they're using, data that they make reference to. But then if inflation now falls at a greater rate or pace than what they're expecting, then that could actually push the central bank to be more aggressive in cutting interest rates, right? So that is one of the reasons there. Then also Swiss National Bank's Jordan said late August that he, he that the continued strength of the Swiss franc has been hurting the Swiss industry and this could potentially lead to an intervention to weaken the Swiss franc, right? So this is essentially what, what I, I, I concluded there, right? And there are some articles I shared in the in the free telegram group as well where some of the Swiss Swiss watch makers and some of the Swiss companies were actually not complaining per se but actually urging the Swiss national bank to actually start uh, intervening in in the forex market because it is the current strength of the Swiss franc is hurting exports in Switzerland right which means that if it's if 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 the currency is strong then it means that whoever needs to buy goods from you, then they they feel that it is very expensive to actually buy goods from you. So that is not good for the what? For the businesses. That is not good for exports, right? So all of those things actually line up with a weaker Swiss franc. That is if potentially the Swiss National Bank intervenes or even if they do not intervene, but maybe they start job owning or maybe apply some verbal intervention where they start uh, raising more concerns about the strength of the Swiss franc, that could obviously lead to, weak, to, to a weaker Swiss franc. Or if they deliver a very aggressive, or not a aggressive, but a 50 basis point cut because inflation is falling at a, at a faster pace than what they had projected, right? So now we have a clear trade selection criteria. We used the central bank and then we looked at how the data has developed so far to now formulate a bias for the Swiss Swiss economy or Swiss currency per se, right? Then we can also now do the very same thing for another economy, right? But obviously I won't go into, into details with another economy. We can look at another economy that is obviously on the opposite end of the spectrum to where the Swiss National Bank or the Swiss economy is right now. And in that case, we now have a divergence and we have a what? A stronger trade or a a higher probability trade and that is how you come up with a very strong and robust trade selection criteria it's not enough to say that cpi is high it's not enough it's like it's like looking at uh, at, at at the at the euro economy currently in europe unemployment is sitting at uh, 6 point um, 6 point four percent if you're looking at the us unemployment is at 4.2 percent you might say unemployment is actually high in, 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 in Europe compared to the US. But no, 6.4 is currently at cyclical lows for the euro. You will get to understand that if you do read the ECB statement and if you actually look at the unemployment rate for Europe. So it is very important that you have a very clear trade selection uh, criteria or process rather than you just looking at a number and taking one number or one data point and coming with and coming up with a or making a conclusion based on only one data point it is very important that you know what the central bank is doing so in this regard we'd be looking to sell the swiss franc and then you can obviously go for another economy like uh like the bank of england right you can go for the bank of england where you're seeing very robust uh, growth growth measures or growth figures gdp pmis also, services inflation is picking up again and also core inflation is picking up. Also, the central bank do expect that inflation is actually going to push high in the second quarter, right? Um, let's actually read that. Uh, headline CPI to pick up. Uh, headline CPI to pick up to 2.5% to around 2.75% in the second half of 2024. And core CPI is projected at 3.25 percent in the second half of 2024 so you can clearly see what this means for 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 united kingdom uh inflation so now if you did not know this and you're seeing that uk cpi is actually going higher from the 2.2 where it currently sits then you might be like okay it means that inflation is picking up yes inflation is picking up but the central bank already said 
that is what is expected. So will that be something that, that, that will be a surprise to the markets? No, it won't be a surprise to the market unless obviously if it increases above where they expect it to actually reach when it when when it actually starts pushing higher right then that might be something that's a surprise but right now it's not a surprise so that is not what markets can really make a strong case about that cpi is rebounding higher yes central bank said that cpi will rebound higher and that is something that is already priced in right so it's very important that you have a very good and very clear trade selection so now Looking at those two economies, we can look to then sell the Swiss franc and look to buy the pound. Or maybe sell the Swiss franc and look to buy the Australian dollar. Even the euro, you can look to sell the Swiss franc and buy the euro, which is euro CHF, right? But in this regard, I'm just going to look at the, the GBP CHF or the British pound against the Swiss franc because one of our members in the group actually took this beautiful trade just based on this trade selection a process that I've just explained to you, right? So as you can see, he has a very good buy on GBP CHF. And it was all because he understood or he, he had a very clear and simplified trade selection process, right? So remember, fundamentals will seem like a very difficult endeavor for you if you do not know what the central bank is saying and what they are looking at because if you know what they are saying and what they are looking at now you have a point of reference that you can then compare all the incoming data that you get to what the central banks are saying and what they are projecting and what they're expecting right so this is the video that i wanted to share with you guys that don't just look at one data point do not come to a conclusion based on one data point look at a totality or a, of a number of data points especially data points that the central bank actually stresses on because central banks will tell you that rent rent uh, the rent component of inflation seems to be very sticky then it means that the next time you're getting cpi data for that economy you need to pay attention to the rents component if the rents component is not falling then you would not expect the central bank to do it to cut interest rates or to maybe deliver aggressive interest rate cuts it is very important guys that you understand what the central banking is saying i cannot stress that enough right but in essence i hope you found value from this video if you did like the video and if you have not yet subscribed do subscribe also guys turn on the notification bell so that you can be alerted when i do upload or drop another video and lastly share the video with someone who might benefit from it right so until next time See you in the next video.